Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. All right, guys, um, I am going to give it 30 more seconds to a minute, and then we're just going to jump in. Today, I am going to be reviewing systems and processes with you. My name is Mayuri Parikh. I'm the founder of True Client Pro, and Kendra is going to be helping you and me both. So when you guys join in, just go ahead and, you know, drop in a chat where you're from this morning, where you're coming in from. And um, what do you guys do? Are you a florist? Are you a designer? Do you do rentals, wedding planning, combination, and about how many events you do per year? Because that's all going to be relevant to what we're going to be talking about. So go ahead and drop it in chat uh, and we'll go from there. And I am based in New York and Hudson Valley, about 45 minutes outside of the city. And I did about 80 to 100 events a year for the last 13 years. Um, small events from Indian weddings to different cultural weddings. Uh, you know, I've done five centerpiece and I've done 50 centerpiece for a wedding, you know, all range and all size of weddings. Okay. Um, I think we're just going to jump right in. Whoever comes, um, they're going to watch later. But I thank you guys for coming in live. And um, hey, I'm so excited. All right, so let me go ahead and share my screen. So let's go ahead and let's make sure that you guys are seeing my screen. Um, Kendra, can you tell me if we're seeing my screen? Yes, yes, we are. Perfect, because it's not highlighting my screen. That's the only problem. Um, you sure it's show sharing my screen? Yep. Huh. OK, so I'll just have to take your word for it and just kind of go from there. Uh, technology, absolutely love them. OK. Yeah. All right, guys, today's topic is what is system and processes? The definition is it's going to allow you to work on your business and not in your business. That's my definition of system and processes. And this is something that takes time to crack that code, you know, through trial and error of years of experience. You know, it's just like figuring out recipes till you get it right. Then the, there's no guessing game, right? And it becomes a powerful, well-oiled machine. So system and processes may not seem glamorous enough to some of you, or it may not be sexy enough for you guys. But today I'm here to change that for you and help you flourish for 2024, not only make it more profitable, but have more time for yourself. Guys, my name is Mayuri Parikh. I'm the founder of True Client Pro. And like you, I've been a florist for a long time. I've done retail and I've done events. I'm located in Hudson Valley in New York. And through the years of, you know, just doing events, everything was running great. I had lots of systems and processes on paper, on Excel, you name it, right? Um, I'm actually a number person. So when I say number, I'm referring to the Mac Excel version of it, numbers. Uh, but of course, I am still a number person, math person. Um, anyways, I did a lot of that uh, till it didn't work. You know, I had to step away to take care of my family. My child needed me. And, you know, all of a sudden I'm doing 80 events and my phone is blowing up and I'm doing multiple things. In any case, we'll dive into that a little bit later. But that's how True Client Pro came about. If you guys are here, either you guys are an event florist, event planners, event designers, even retail florists who do weddings or venue owners. So welcome, welcome. And if you guys do 20 plus events a year or your gross sale is above 75,000, then and then you're probably in the right place because we are a robust system 
unique to the industry. So we're not just your floral software, and then you need to use like HoneyBook or Dubsado or Zapier. We're all in one place with the live client portal. So you have to be seasoned enough to use our software. You know, you can use it from beginning, but there's always a learning curve. All right, so today, you know, what are we going to do? We're gonna be covering exactly how to reduce the time you spend preparing for an event because time is money folks right and what to do leading up to the day of the event to streamline your processes now everybody is different we're as unique or just like individual right our events are unique our businesses are unique but the basic foundation is going to remain the same and i'm, I'm going to be sharing my detail secrets so you can just kind of say, aha, and then just implement that in your business. Okay, so we're going to be also breaking down the real cost of your hours and how to figure out the true cost of your milestones, right? Like the event milestones. And then, of course, we're going to be giving you this amazing bonus digital cost calculator for your business and how to figure out how much money you know, you need to make your salary, right? As a business owner. But otherwise, if you're not here for the profit, guys, it's a hobby and that's not what we're doing here. All right. So with the right system and processes, you guys can save two hours a day. That's proven in statistics. What does that look like? If you could have two hours a day, you can have more wealth mental health, you know, physical health, and just a different mindset. It just really changes everything. You can, you know, if you're a meditator, you can meditate in the morning, you can exercise, you can go for a walk, coffee, you know, get your kids, drop them off to school. There are many different things that you can do, right? So absolutely, we're here to talk about all those things. So the secret to success lies in mapping out your day-to-day, -day, your week-to-week, -week, and all the milestones before the events. Now, that's going to look a little different, as I mentioned, for everybody. But, you know, the week of the event, how do you handle it? Uh, the day of the event, how do you handle this? How do you handle your quarterly, your annual? And this is the perfect time of the year, right? Like, you're just wrapping up 23, and you're thinking about 24. So, you know, even that is a process. So I want you to think about that, and we're going to go further. All right. So system and processes are going to allow your business to scale. And in order to scale, you have to make more money. You have to create more time. So let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys have system and processes in place? Please put that in chat, yes or no. And I would love to know more details of it, okay? So question number one, what does the system, I know you might be asking me this, what does the system have to do with me? Do I even need it, right? I want you to take some time and put that into the chat. Yes or no, right? And once you do that, I want to ask you another question. How easy is has it been for you either to follow processes or do you actually even stick to the processes and systems? Because it's great. I'm going to give you all this, but you have to know those two things about yourself in order to actually implement and stick to it and to be successful with it. All right, has anyone shared anything with us? I'm just curious. If you guys have system, you can feel free to just uh, one at a time, either unmute yourself or Kendra, please let me know because I can't see the chat. All right, while you guys do that, I've been in this business for 30 plus years in floral industry. I'm an alum of New York Botanical Garden. I owned a retail flower shop in late 90s. And since the last 13 years, I've been doing just events. All right. So I have learned a lot. And what I learned is that no matter how big or you're small, or just you, yourself, and an I, or me, myself, and I, however you want to say it, small the team is, you need a system. And I'm going to tell you why. 
because when I started hiring people, I found myself actually working double the time and it blew my mind. And I'm like, why is this happening that it's taking me twice the time when I hire someone to help me do the work that I hired them to do, right? It was because I didn't have those things in places. I didn't, I had those repeatable processes for myself because my mind, everyone's mind is a computer and it just does it. But when we have to scale, when we have to remove ourselves from that situation, it's not that easy because every time I was training somebody, I wasn't giving them the whole lowdown. And then when I was doing that, I found myself like hands-on teaching. I'm not a flower school. I'm not a business school. I'm a business owner. I need to share that with my team member. I need to train them. I need them to perform so I can scale. Okay. So what I want you to do is um, think about um, what can you do? Can you imagine yourself taking on more than one event, right? If you are the business owner, because I've met various types of business owners, right? is somebody's like, no, I can only do one event a, a day. And I have uh, you know, business owners who do eight. I have somebody who does five. So whatever amounts that you're doing, are you able to add on more and make more money is what I want you to think about this whole time. It's all about money. It's all about time savings, no matter what I say throughout this whole thing. So stick with me. And we are gonna nerd out a little bit at the end. Okay, in the, somewhere in the middle. Okay, you might be still saying to me, Mary, do I really need a streamlined process? You know, or I have a small team, or is this me? Yes, you do. You really, really do. Because I want you to think further, do I want vacation? Do I want to be there for my family, for their celebrations? Do I want to go on a hike? Do I want to sit on a beach and sip margarita? Do I want to, you know, hey, listen, I started enjoying cleaning my house. I thought I would never be able to do that again. And that's my therapeutic way of just kind of doing things. I loved going apple picking with my kids and I used to miss out on those things. But, you know, you can think about all those things that you like to do, you can do, right? Because it's going to make all the difference. The system's going to allow you to train your staff member and, you know, implement those processes, which is going to provide consistency and reduce mistakes. All right. So if you are still unsure about what I'm saying, okay, about your day-to-day -day task, your weekly task, the day of the event, your quarterly, annually, please stick around, okay? All right. Because I have a lot to offer for you guys. What systems and processes do I need to implement? You might be asking me as well. But we're not just talking about software, guys. I am going to talk about software because True Client Pro is my business. But at the same time, even if you don't use the software, there are other processes you can do that's going to help you scale your business. And it's all about business operations and mindset. Okay. So let's go ahead and walk you through and i want you to walk away with something that you can implement in 2024. okay i'm willing to share all my secrets to success so let's do this all right so it has not only helped me you know run my events successfully but it has helped me do it profitably yeah so secrets from going from the constant state of the busy business overwhelm to tons of organizations and free, more free time and more money in your bank and four days a week. I would love for you to do three days a week, but I'm going to aim to this time for four days a week, work week. Okay. So if you're ready for this, let's do this, but we're going to nerd out a little bit. So we're going to do some, you know, math, like I mentioned, an average event time to produce for a florist or a wedding planner, it's about 45 to 75 hours for a small to medium sized event. Now that means anywhere from, it also depends on your beginner, you know, medium skill set or expert, right? Um, 45 hours to 75. So we're looking at anywhere from 3000 to $5,000 wedding is what I'm going to have you think about. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about. Now, at the end of the day, guys, I'm an accountant, ex-accountant, I have a degree, but yes, an accountant. So we're going to do some math and we're going to say, I want you to think about the number of events you do and drop that in the chat. How many events do you do? Doesn't matter if it's corporate, weddings, celebrations 
celebrations, just drop it in the chat, 15, 20, 27. What, what is your average, you know, the numbers of events you do? Because we're gonna do the math and you're gonna need that number. Systems and process is gonna allow you, as I mentioned earlier, two hours a day per person. So we're just gonna do simpler math and you can always apply that by the number of team members you have. But today we're focusing on a singular person. It could be you, it could be one of your team members. So think about it from there. And if you have a paper and pencil, keep notes. So how many days can it save you? If it's gonna save you two hours and if you implement system and processes, if the event takes you, let's say 50 hours, it's gonna save you about 12 hours because each event takes you six hours, six days and a change. So six days times two, approximately 12 hours and 75 hours worth of work is gonna save you about 18 hours. So we're gonna do a little bit more math guys. Okay, you don't have to do it, I'll do the math. It's right here, written out, so you don't have to go crazy. Some people get scared about numbers, though I know they're very good at it because they can figure out bunch and a retail cost and all sorts of things. So I'm basing this off of $18 an hour just because we're all in the different parts of the world and different parts of the state and we uh, the pay rate is different and minimum wage is different. So I'm basing this off of $20 an hour, $25 an hour and $30 an hour. So pick the one that matters to you the closest and you can always do math later. Okay. So if we're saving 18 hours times 20, you would be saving $360 per event. If it's 25 an hour, 450 and just read on. And then if it's just, you know, six hours, this is the money you're saving, okay? At the end of the day, you're still saving a lot of money. So we're gonna just jump into what is your process for getting leads? following up the lead, following up with leads, getting photos from clients, getting reviews, going to the bridal show, employee training, answering phones, updating website, leading up to the week of the event, week of the event, day of the event, any of those things. I'm gonna pause, take a sip of water. I want you to put something in the chat and let me know if you have any of these processes, if you're missing them or you didn't think about this before. So. All right, guys. All right, so your bonus is going to be the event checklist. Uh, you know what? I'm just kidding. That's not really the bonus. There's a bigger bonus at the end, but you can get an event checklist on the resource section on my website. So anytime you want, you guys can go and do that. Your bonus is going to be a calculator, which is gonna help you, you know, calculate the cost of running a business before making a singular sale. Because I want you to think starting 2024, really thinking, because I'm an accountant at the end of the day, guys, and this is how I always knew. And I'll tell you a quick story. I knew for Mayuri's floral design, I had to hit $122,000 sales before I made a singular penny. That was my fixed cost. That was my rent, my electricity, my, and I even projected the cost of the flowers from my last year because I knew how many events I'm capable of and how many events I can do prediction over and over again. So, but you can download that calculator to figure it out for yourself. And some of you who do not know how much money you want to make, or if you say, you know what? I made X amount and I need to increase that because my kids are going to college or I am buying another house or I'm buying a new car, whatever it is, there's another calculator for your personal salary. So please do yourself a favor and stick around for that and you'll have that. Okay, so we're gonna start with system number one, which is when you book the event, do you have system to let the client know what the process is. Because if they don't know, they're gonna ask you a thousand questions in return. You wanna be the professional person and you wanna actually tell them, when are you gonna meet with them? Will you provide a floral sample? Uh, are you gonna have a final meeting? Will you walk through a venue? Do you charge for walk through venue, right? Do you accept their rentals? Or how do you handle missing rentals? Whatever the process is for your business, I want you to be able to tell the client and I'll, I'll, I'll 
I'll give you a little tip. So for Mayuri's floral design, we did it multiple ways. So I had nothing fancy, guys. Took one of my bouquet photos, went to Vista Print, uploaded the folders, ordered folders. And every year I just did like different types of mix and match different designs. In that folder, you know, when you open up on the left side, name of my business and how I get the reviews or where they can read my reviews because I gave it to them also when they came in at two types. An insert, so it's a physical paper, and they also got an email on that same thing. And I also reviewed it with them. So they knew exactly what to expect. So they weren't, you know, like, because my lead time was 15 months. I'm not communicating with them for 15 months. That's crazy. I'm talking to them four to three months prior to their event, nothing more, because that's what I can provide for the amount of money that I charge and, you know, the capacity that I have. The next one is announcing it to the team. Do you ever tell your team that you booked a wedding? You're like, why? Because first, you know, you want to get them excited. You want to book them or you want to book designers or freelancers. And here's the fact. If you involve your team member from the day one. So what I used to do when I announced it is that who's the client? So a lot of times I knew if they're a nurse or a doctor, what they did. I'm like, hey, they're young. You know, this is their photo from Save the Date because I would grab all that information or I would grab their Instagram something like proposal photos so we knew who they look like. A little story. This is where they're getting married. Their vision is this blah, 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 blah. And I would send it because now my team is invested. When my team is invested in my client, just by envisioning it, a lot less mistakes will happen because they know the client. They're going through the journey, journey with you. Even though you know an email comes in, a notification comes in, whatever it is, they're in tune with that client. And the other thing is, if they have a commitment, they're going on vacation, they're like, Mayuri, I would love to be here. But I have to attend my grandma's, I don't know, 60th or no, 90th birthday, whatever it is. So think about it from that perspective. Okay. So the next one is right after you book, what will you do? So don't look at my photo. This is the only photo I could find to show you what I'm trying to tell you. You see that calendar behind me, that wall? We had, I think it was 12 clipboards and five rows above. And every time we used up one row, we would bring them down and we would add more. Add more. So because we did more, we would have a bucket of other uh, clipboards to see the further out weddings. So we would print the cover page either from our proposal or our worksheet. Then we would get that on the digital calendar. Then I had two wall calendars, something cheap, nothing crazy, one right outside of my walk-in cooler and one behind my office door as soon as the event was booked, drop it in there because it's, you know, how many weddings you have, you know, what commitments you have, you can high level, just glance at it and the cooler, because I want my team to see which weddings, right? If they have commitment, I want them to tell me, even my freelancers, they're like, Mary, I see you have a wedding. Or, Do you need me? You know, if I forget to ask, I want them to tell me because it helps me. The reason why you want to do all of this is because and I'll get into that, but if you book freelancers, it gives you extra time. I want you to make a preliminary list of items you need. And you're like, what? So on a high level, if you rent it out, I don't know if you guys all do rentals. I figured it out that I make more money on rentals and I figured out a way to sell my rentals again and again and again differently. And because of that, I always wanted to make a preliminary list of things that I have or I have to buy. And if I didn't want to buy, who can I borrow from? So it's less money that I'm spending instead of just buying and storing. Printing labels. You're like, what? Folks, printing labels, game changer, two types. I don't know the sizes, but if you email me, I will tell you. So, you know, the the, the labels that has six labels, whatever size that is. And the other one, I believe, is 12 labels. Not the address size label. It's the one bigger. So client's name and the date. Bride, groom, venue, and the date. We print it on all the labels. And that goes into the transparent sheet. That goes behind that clipboard. Game changer. I can go on and on and on. And I can talk all this all day long. But we're going we're gonna to move on. 
All right, so we're gonna jump to three months prior to the event because like I said, that's when I did a lot of things for my business. I started talking to my client. And I don't think you need to remember all these things in your brain. And if you remember that, oh yeah, I have to call that client to book my final meeting, I have to reach out to the planner. You guys are just wasting brain power. You guys are creatives. We're creatives. We don't need to remember those things. I rather remember, you know, like a birthday that I went to or some uh, someone's uh, anniversary that I have to attend or just spending time with my parents or my family member. So the mock update, automate that, getting recipe done, digital workflow. On True Client Pro, you can actually say, hey, you know, remind me to do recipes 30 days before or 43 days before. And my motto is better done than none. And I'll explain that to you start and you say 30 days oh my god i had so many events i didn't have enough time fine at least you did it you know reminder work now make it 42 days if that was too much time adjust it but at least if you put reminder it's not a reminder in your brain there's no more sticky notes it's more clean right and you can even remind your team members to start doing preliminary recipes for you emailing client with a coi last thing i want is my client to tell me the week of the wedding i need coi I do not need to be doing that. Why am I going to put myself through anxiety and overwhelm? I can get rid of that three months prior. Like if you need the COI, ask your venue, here's the procedure and I'll send you COI. I'm gonna send it to you. Either way, I have to give it to you, knock it off the list. The only thing I wanna pay attention to the week of the wedding is the flowers, not even a payment. I'm not even chasing. And I like to call the venue and church and you might be thinking church, it's too early. No, it's not because different people are there. Uh, they take too long to respond back to you when you can get in, when you can't get in. If you, you know, if you need to learn certain things, you haven't been to the venue. There's all different things. So I'd like to get the preliminary information from the church and the venue ahead of time. Um, next one. Cannot say it enough, guys. Internal organization, organization, organization. Print the labels for the racks. So this is different paper. It's just a simple eight by 11. And all my racks are in wheels and I don't buy the skinny ones. I think it's a Seville company I buy. I buy the, the widest one you can get. And each two, no, yes. Two sides have transparent sheets with a pipe cleaner, slide the client's name on it. And you're gonna start, you know, those labels that you printed, you're gonna start putting them on the box. So I have a boutonniere box, I have a bouquet box. Anything that you pulled, the label goes on it. And because I did a lot of fabric draping, I used to, I figured out my containers break a lot if I take a container, started getting Ikea bags, the blue ones, cheap. Um, they have a little pocket for the transparent, drop a label in there, game changer. So then the, we know that fabric bag goes for that client. All these little, little things make a huge, huge difference. So check in with your staff again, right? Because you want to make sure nothing came up and they didn't forget to tell you because it will happen. Check in with your designers and freelancers to confirm those times and transportation. So transportation, I'll give you two tips on it. The number one, you might say, I sold a lot of rentals and I need that or client added extra things and you did that or you accepted clients rentals don't advise it, but then you're like, I need to have more room in the car. I don't have X amount of space, whatever it is. Or you can ask your staff number. You can pay them by mileage, gasoline toll, whatever it is, right? So all these kind of things, you want to automate it and streamline it. It's like creating floral recipe. Once you have it right, right, then you can repeat this. This is a recipe for an event, guys. Think about that. This is recipe for the event. Just the way you make recipe for floral things, these are things, recipe for events to be successful, to be profitable. All right. Six weeks prior to the event, get paid. Get paid, get paid, get paid. Do not chase the payments. You're the one who's rendering the services. You should not be chasing payments. Quick story. So uh, I'm located in Hudson Valley. That means we have West Point, a uh, lot of military weddings, a lot of uh, out of state, and they'll have a lot of destination weddings. 
and they'll say, oh, but we're coming in. We'll, we'll give you the money. And I didn't have the courage initially to say no. And it was hard. You know, you feel embarrassed. You feel like you're being, you know, difficult, whatever it is. It was just me. I knew it was me. So I said, I'm going to stick to it. And I said, okay, I need to be paid before I unload the car. So one time I said, oh, I have, can I get the payment? And they're like, oh, where are the flowers? We want to see it. I said, I'll unload the car once I get the payment. So let's do this and never accept a check on the day of the wedding. Another story, but I'm not going to get into that. Cash only that day. It has to be Venmo or Zelle right in front of you. Check the account and then and then do it. So uh, get paid at the end of the day. Prep work. I, I'm an eco-friendly florist, but I also use Oasis for my tall centerpieces. So I like to get my Oasis work done. Tape it, cut it, prep it out of the way. Get the containers. If you use candle holders, polish them, clean them. They really should be, you know, brass candle holders. You have to polish them before the event. Everything else should be cleaned when you restock, obviously, right? Some of the mechanics you can do way ahead of time and save tremendous amount of time. So think about it from that perspective. Two weeks before the wedding, guys, start adding labels to the racks, those things that you printed. Print the pull list and the prep list. On True Client Pro, we actually give you both, where they're two separate things. Um, and the pull list is all hard goods, and then it has directions, so you don't need to be there. So those things somebody else can do for you, and I want you to think about it from that perspective. And I want you to think about, start creating labels for your pulled flowers. So, so powerful. And on True Client Pro, I've even taken it one step further for you. And we have items as pulled flower buckets. What that means is it's part of the recipe. So the team will know that they got to take the bucket and they got to put those flowers in a bucket and a label as well. And the label, and I have a laminated machine. So this is prior to laminated machine. I just took the, the rose card boxes. You know, when you open up the roses, there's four card boxes. Take one, just write down like bridal bouquet, onside flowers, cake flowers, whatever it is. Took the tape and I just kind of taped it, poked a hole, pipe cleaner, put it, hang it on the cardette or a bamboo stick, drop it in a bucket. Game changer, guys. Game changer. So, and defining the delivery route sometimes is the hardest because I used to do anywhere from three to eight events a weekend. So this, you know, routing is super important instead of leaving it at last minute. The week I'm gonna play this. Of the wedding on Monday or Tuesday, what happens is like this week is Sandra. So we pulled out Sandra's boutonniere tray and this is forever. Every week we use this bouquet prep. You count the numbers of the bags and you put them in here. You do not wet them till we make the bouquet. And this is Sandra's ceremony. See, we pull them here. If there was any flower girl or anything, we would have put it right here as well. So the reason why I wanted to share this little video is because when I didn't have the software, I was using Trello because I had to step away you know from my business so I was recording these videos so I could train my team members but once I trained them this was a huge game changer my team knew that they have to prep vases on Monday what does that mean they fill the vases for the bouquets and they get them in the cooler on the right rack they're all going to clean the cars toolboxes I actually had somebody this was a high school girl who came on a Tuesday or Monday and according to her schedule, and she refilled my toolbox, all three of them, every single time, because we had multiple weddings. And that was her job. She had a list. That was her job. I never have to think if my toolbox needs to be replaced with X amount of items. Uh, filling up the bucket. I knew my flowers were coming on Monday or Tuesday. And if their buckets are getting clean from the day before, they're getting filled with the food and they knew what flowers were coming. So it's there. Printing the prep list printing the flower order so they know what flowers I expected, so they know what flower buckets has to be filled because I was particular what flowers I wanted in which size bucket. Printing the executive list. Now here's the piece that I want you to pay attention to. I told you I'm gonna have you come bring it down to three days a week if you're ready to change this. None of these tasks that I told you, you ever need to be at your studio, at your work. Even if your studio's in your home, you do not need to be there for it. 
your pay rate is much higher than your anybody that you hire. Yeah. So even your designers don't need to be doing this. You can get somebody else to do these tasks and you will save money. Yeah. So think about this as it's one way of scaling your business, right? And this is going to, these kind of tasks is going to allow you to do things ahead of time, book people ahead of time. Because if you put down these kinds of tasks or, uh, so I'll, I'll uh, uh, break it down for you. When I say uh, put this in a recipe, in a floral recipe, I'll put down a vase and fill the water. Why? Because it's adding also, and I'll put event help as my labor. I have like different labors. That's going to predict how, what kind of labor and how many hours I need. So I don't overbook my designers. So I don't want to be working from a place of uh, frantic, right? Like, oh my God, I have three weddings. I think I need four designers. And then you're wasting extra money. If you know exactly, let's say your 12 centerpiece takes you 30 minutes or 45 minutes to do, and you have 10 of them. So do 30 times 10, that's 300 minutes divided by 60, 60 minutes in an hour. That's how much time you need for tall centerpiece. Our system does that for you. So you'll save money if you predict the labor right. And when you also book those designers ahead of time, the minute you book the weddings, it also allows you to take on more events. All right, so Tuesday is a processing flower day. Filling the actual vases and container needed for the event. Labeling the racks in the cooler, because I also have that because each event has its own rack or own shelf if I had needed more. Labels for the delivery items, boxes for the bouquets, boxes for the boutonnieres, boxes for the centerpieces. You're like, what? I know a lot of people use, what is that system called with the sticks and things? I have never used that. I use all my flower boxes and I have a system the way I do it, load in and load it, load out is very easy. So Tuesday, when all of this is happening, again, you do not need to be there. You could be doing something else. Wednesday, I like to print my worksheet on a Wednesday because if one of my staff members says, I can't come in, I have something or something changed, I'm able to make those changes before I print the worksheet for my designers. Um, start with your boutonniere and corsage work, you know, wiring some of that, greening anything that is large in the centerpiece, get it done, get it done, get it done. Prep work ahead of time. Even ceremony, if I have like a ceremony with pipes and poles and whatever it is, I will do my chicken bar, all of that ahead of time, even some greens ahead of time. Get that whole thing in the cooler. You can load that and do the remaining on site. The cocktail hour flowers, oh my God. I never do them any other day, but the day the flower, the day after flowers come, they're little containers, whatever it is, you don't need to put them even in the, in the bucket to process, just cut them short, drop them in, get them in cooler, they'll drink, they'll hydrate, all of that will happen right in there. You don't need to do that extra stuff. Trust me, game changer. I used to do Indian weddings. So if you ever done Indian weddings, uh, you can have 50 centerpieces and they don't want to sometimes spend the top dollar, right? So they'll say, I want 50 centerpieces with like lots of hydrangeas and roses and whatever. I, I don't process hydrangeas for that. I drop them directly in the cylinder when they come in. I'm going to repeat that. I don't process my hydrangeas. I take them out. I cut them to the length. I drop them in the cylinder. They go directly in my cooler. Many times I've just taken the box in the cooler. I just chip, chip drop them right in, saves me time going in and out of the cooler. It's in the rack, I just turn the rack. And when I add other flowers, I'll just change water and it's done. Game changer, these small, small things. So other thing I like to do is gather pulling the recipes. Why? Because, you know, you can count out the flowers. Um, you, you, if you're paying your designer top dollars or, or yourself, like 35, 50, whatever it is you're paying an hour, you don't want them pulling recipes, you want them designing. So think about it from that perspective because somebody who can just pull flowers versus somebody designing $50 versus $20 an hour, $30 you're saving, yeah, it's coming out of your profit. So, 
Again, you do not need to be there. So those three days, you can absolutely strike out of your workday, guys. Yeah. So making sample on Thursday. If you already have not made a sample, make a sample. What it's going to look like for your designer. Start designing some of the centerpieces. If you think the finer flowers can't go in, add them later. But get most of the work done. Get that garbage out. Your designers can make the bouquets, right? They don't need to be doing small things. Get gasoline on all the cars. Put whole money. So what I used to do is I had the old passport holders and I didn't want to chuck them because it's plastic and the garbage and blah, blah, blah. Always a $20 bill in it. And a little note to my staff, they know whichever car, if they took their car or rental car, they take that. It's extra money for the gas or the food, whatever it is. And they knew that they had to put the receipt, whatever they spent in it, and they have to bring that back. I don't want to think about this ahead of time. This was a process. I'm not thinking about these kind of things. Somebody else is doing this. I, I like to call the church planners and a venue again. Why the church? They could have booked a baptism. Funeral is always unpredictable, but you do want to, sometimes they know ahead of time, call it because then you have to redefine your route or schedule or team members. So you want to call. I love to call venue on a Thursday, not on a Monday, Tuesday or Wednesday because Monday they're off, Tuesday half the staff is off, Wednesday they're just checking in on emails and sales call. Thursday is a wonderful day to call them. They know exactly who's going to be working on that client's event. And they'll know when they're going to put the linens on because they'll know when the linens are getting delivered. I mean, I can go on and on, guys. But if you know ahead of time, then you can make some tweaks and get to the venue on time and save time. So you might be like, what am I going to do on Friday if all of this is done? Right? So, well, Friday, load the car with the non-floral items. Complete designing the centerpieces. Tick photos of the items that are designed instead of waiting till 8, 8 you know, p.m. Um, to take photos after the designers are done. If you haven't gotten gas, get gas in the car again. You know, make sure all the list of items are checked off. So I'm going to dive a little bit into that. What I mean is, so if you have multiple designers and everybody's designing on different things, actually on True Client Pro, you can design, let's say, so-and-so's bouquet, Andrea, you design. So and so, Carla, you design. Whatever it is, you can do that. But sometimes everyone's talking, everybody's in the same thing. Oh, can you finish that off for me? And they think somebody finished it. Somebody thinks they finished it. And then they leave and they're not working tomorrow, or maybe they are. And then next day you find out in the morning that it's not done. Who wants that anxiety and chaos? Nobody. So we provide you with an executive uh, summary list. So there's three columns. So I tell my designers, after you've swept the floors, everything's in it, before you grab your keys and your purse and out the door, go into the cooler with the clipboard, just put your name and initial next to the items that you designed, just check it off, because then I know nothing is missing. There has been time they've come back in, turn on the lights and finish one or two small things that was missed. It's a, you know, it's a lot of time saving, anxiety, chaos, mistakes, all of that. Last thing I'm going to tell you, real, real stories. All car doors and trunks, you know, lights should be off when they load because otherwise you'll have a dead battery. Everybody should have a AAA. Um, all right. Last day, day of the event. All right. You got to load your car with the floral items. Make sure you have a list. We actually provide you with that list, instructions of the whole thing. Finishing on the bouquets. I do... I like to do mine on day day before, but I know many of you like to do it on the day of. So finish it. Take photos of the items. It is super important behind scene. And it's important even more to tag all the vendors because free SEO. You're tapping into your vendor's algorithm when you tag them, when you put them in the story. Load the snacks, water, sunblock. That was something we had. That was one of our other processes we had. We had all the freelancers named with the cheap containers, you know, the Tupperware containers, labels, and things that won't melt. We've refilled water, uh, hard candy, uh, granola bars, tissue, sanitizer, sunblock, little, little things. They knew if they work that day, they take that container, they take it in the car. Those things they have to load. Uh, toolboxes, extra bucket of flowers, you know, and all the things have to be checked off. 
All right. I know I've been saying a lot, a lot of things, guys. But here is what I want you to think on. What is the cost if you do not implement these processes? It's physical cost, dollar values. It's the anxiety, overpricing, you know, over uh, projecting the designer's time. So all these things, they do add up. So we're going to reflect back to those numbers that I asked you earlier. So Kendra, did anybody put down how many events they do? No, not in the chat, but I did see some people scribbling on some paper. Okay, good. So now is the time, guys. If you do 10 events, two hours, the basic rate, you're going to save $3,600. And it's not $3,600 flat. It's actually a lot more. And I'm going to tell you why, because I'm an accountant. You're going to pay tax on that money. So it's a lot more money. You pay tax and then you get to take that home. This is pre-tax money, you guys. So how much? Think about that. And if you don't understand that, go ask your accountant. 20 events, it'll take that much. 30 events, that much more. Okay? So the flip side is if you do not execute any of the processes that I talked about and you don't track it, you're losing profit. I want all of you to work smarter, not harder. Adding team members, sometimes you're like, oh, that's additional cost. I can't afford it. I want you to think about it from two perspectives. One is profit. Second one is 76% of our uh, wedding industry is made up of female um, entrepreneurs. You're providing somebody a job, constant work. A lot of them are single moms. A lot of them are breadwinners. A lot of them are aspiring. They have a side hustle. Really. So save yourself money and provide somebody a job you're doing the world and the industry a favor. Okay. So what does this look like to scale your business? Increasing revenue. Increasing revenue with the same operating cost. I'm going to repeat that. Increasing revenue with the same or similar operating cost. Who doesn't want that? right? Working less, because I did tell you at the beginning, I'm going to have you work less days, because it is possible. And, you know, having the correct infrastructure in place is going to allow you to get more business. Because when I said book those freelancers, the minute you book the wedding, so you're like, but I only do one event. What, what if you did one event and you did book a designer and a freelancer? Now you are free. Could you not take on the second wedding? You're going to have more money, more profit. Think about it. All right. So this is going to change. This is going to take changing your perspective. I don't want you to throw everything you have out the door. Okay. Just make one change at a time. It doesn't have to be all of it at once. Yes, True Client Pro has so many features, more than all the other softwares out there because we're all in one platform. You don't have to use all of them at once. Start with one and then add on, then add on. Something change one a day, then a week, then a month, then a quarterly, then annually. Mindset, system, processes, increase your profit. Yeah. All right. You might say, what? I want, I want you to know there is a better way. What if there is a better way? There is a better way. I'm going to tell you a little story, okay? As I mentioned to you, and some of you might know my story. Some of you may not. I'll share it. My business was tripling every year since I started in 2010 for events. And I did move from paper and pencil initially right down to the Excel and automated a lot of formulas. 
If you're an Apple person, you might know this. Apple used to offer when you buy a computer for one year for $99 unlimited lessons. Guess what? Who was in that store three times a week? Me. I learned everything I could, formula, this, that. And I was able to have that system. But what happened was when I had to step away to take care of my child in 2015, I had seven events. Out of that seven events, four events were Indian. Each event had three events, henna party, celebration. So there's Hindu ceremony and a Christian ceremony with you know another ceremony and reception. Crazy. I couldn't be there. I had, all, I had booked all the uh, freelancers, my help. I was just the manager. I was able to step away. But for the next two and a half years, you know, things still continued. I had to step away. I did not want to let my team members down. I did not want to let my clients down because I booked out early. My phone was blowing up. We looked for a floral system. We used Trello, like I said. We used Excel, PDFs, crazy stuff. Two and a half years, I still couldn't find a solution. That is when I decided that I'm going to take all the pain points of this industry and fix it for once and all. And I still continue to add new features every day. So True Client Pro allows you to give your client a beautiful experience while you can scale your business and train your team members. We have the most advanced five-step lead capture form. Did any of you go to Wedding MBA by any chance? If you do, I am sure you heard that be transparent about the you know uh, pricing. Tell them upfront what to expect. Um, gather the information, but don't overwhelm them. How are you supposed to do that in one step lead capture form? You can't. You can't. So we created a unique five step lead capture form. So you gather that information and then we automatically remind each step your lead to fill out more information, which automatically builds your proposal with our patent technology. We also have floral recipes, floral library, worksheets, production reports, automations, workflows, email, team communication, the most advanced client portal that's there. It's not just a link and you share with a client. That is not a portal. This is an actual portal where they come and drop photos and documents and talk to you back and forth. So it's all in one place. So I want you to give that a try. And that's why in the beginning I said, you have to be doing minimum 20 events or that. Then and then it's gonna make sense to you and you can utilize all those features. So for today, thank you for attending. We are extending our normal seven day trial to 14 day free trial. And we're offering $500 value, three days of group training because I wanna make sure that you're set up for success. But that can only happen if you show up. And there is zero obligation. Start free trial, do the training. And if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. No hard feelings. I'm here to pass on my knowledge. So we will email you for the alternate days if you cannot come 15th and 16th, but it won't be as intensive as 15th and 16th. So it is in your best interest to show up for the 15th and 16th training if you start your trial today because we are also offering you 25% uh, off. So typically our monthly is $175 a day, I mean, <laughs> month, $175 a month and $1,860 a year. So you're already saving 300, but we're gonna take another 25% off. So that's gonna be 1395, am I right, Kendra? Oh yeah, it is, there you go, 1395. It's a Black Friday sale. And you need to use this coupon. So if you need to take a screenshot of that coupon, do so. It is not public information. So go ahead and do that, you guys. I'll leave it up for another second or two. And if you have any questions, start dropping them in the chat. I'm going to stop sharing my screen soon, and I will answer those questions. And don't be afraid to ask. I'm here to share. 
I want you to think what your business is going to look like in 2024 with True Client Pro if you implemented these systems. Yeah. More money, less work, you know, more profit. It makes all the difference between the right system and the wrong system. All right, guys. q and I'm here to answer them. So what I'm going to do is I am going to stop sharing my screen and then I'm going to take any questions that you guys may have. So I'm gonna to go to chat and let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever. Or please put it in the chat if you got any insights or gems or anything that helped you. I would love to know what helped you. And feel free to unmute yourself. I'm here to answer any questions that you have. All right. Either you guys are just like overwhelmed or, <laughs> um, you know, uh, you guys know everything or you're like, oh my God, what do I have to change? Whatever it is, let me know. Because this is a two-way. I wanted to share, but this is absolutely a two-way conversation, guys. You're welcome, Savannah. Yeah. All right, guys. So if you have no questions, um, I am going to sign off. You can go to my website and start the free trial. Use that coupon code and come to the training. All right. Thanks for attending, you guys. Bye now.